All right, okay. so why don't you give me a little bit of a tour here? Okay, well. Where are we, first of all? Where are we and what are we doing? Well, we're in the basement of the biggest shelter in America, um, which is where the DC Central Kitchen Shop is. We're right down the hill from the Capitol. And what we're about to do is walk into our kitchen here, where on any given day we produce roughly 5,000 meals that go out to city shelters, to um, after school programs, to drug clinics, anywhere. What we're trying to do is help people heal physically by getting nutritious food, but we're also trying to create kind of an economic way by giving agencies the power to don't have to buy their food. You know, if they don't have to buy food, they can use their money to liberate people. And we've really been very deliberate about where the food goes. We don't want to just give food away, we want to empower systems. So we've chosen very deliberate partners in the community that I think share our sense of, again, this should be a liberation movement, not a way to hold people where they're at. So what we do every day, and you'll see, is engage um, usually between 40 and 60 volunteers, men and women in the class. Um, this is class 83 right now. Um, men and women who've graduated who are now employees. And as you'll see, what we're doing is producing the better part of about 5,000 meals. Right. So, um, you know, again, it's, just, uh, it's, it's an um, engaging process that um, takes advantage of stuff that used to be thrown away. I mean, that's our whole bag, man. Everything we use here was already here. You know, we take food our society threw away, people our society undervalued, a kitchen that was vacant, um, volunteers who wanted to be part of something powerful, um, chefs who had food but also would help teach, agencies that wanted to empower people. All that was there, man. We just organize, reorganized existing ingredients. And that's the key, I think, to the future is not how do we buy more, build more. It's like, what are we using? And is there a way to use it differently and more powerfully? So, anyway, man, come on, we'll take a look. You know, um, one of the favorite things we do here is we produce um, usually about 5,000 salads a day, too. So if you look, you know, one of our big things, man, is nutrition. You know, um, for example, man, you know, I get a lot of prizes for feeding the poor. But the reality is, you know, people sometimes, I wish sometimes they stopped and asked, what kind of meals are you serving people? Because the reality is sometimes we poison people in the very name of serving them. So we're interested in healthy, nutritious food. So a couple of years ago, we started buying local produce. You know, we get a lot of stuff donated, but we wanted to ensure the nutritional content of the food. So we buy about $250,000 worth of locally grown produce every single year. Uh, and this process here, again, volunteers working side by side with men and women out of the program. And dude, that's another big part of this. This is a side by side thing. You know, instead of the old thing where, you know, people with jobs serve the poor, our thing is bring everybody around to the same side of the table and work side by side. So whether you're the President of the United States or you're somebody out of a shelter, man, we both live in D.C. You know, it's our, it's almost our shared responsibility and then our shared opportunity to make our city a better place by working together. And that's a huge part of what we do here is everybody has value, everybody has a role, um, and uh, we can rock the city if we really try. Cool. Anywhere else? Uh, yeah, man, follow me. I'll take you around. It's a busy place, man. So the side we were just on is where we produce meals that go out to city shelters. And we'll do about 3,000 of those. Over here is where we do meals uh, that can be reheated. So they're oftentimes for group homes, so people like 25 people or less. So we also do a street outreach program called First Helping. You know, we want to meet people where they're at. I'll tell you what, though, we got to move away. Big John's there washing those dishes. And we Um, but this is a classic example of what we get. Um, there was a big convention in town, all this food. We probably got about 3,000 sandwiches. So what we're doing and what these great volunteers are over here doing today, um, we're taking them apart and they're gonna be part of a street outreach program in the morning. And the idea is how can we attract with really decent meals men and women who might be out on the street waiting for liquor stores to open up in Maryland at nine o'clock in the morning. How can we get them to this truck that we have and maybe engage them with one of our counselors to come in. And that's a big deal for us. How do we get people in out of the street, out of the rain, out of the cold, um, out of exploitation, and get them into, you know, again, a program, a house, a job, whatever it takes uh, to get people to that next stage. So again, our, our big thing here is, man, food, ha food has power. You know, food can be a transformative thing. Food is community. Um, it's, it, the last thing it is is just gasoline for the body. Um, one of the things we do every day is we produce, you know, um, Again, this is what we do. You know, some of the food goes out hot, ready to eat, and it goes to the city shelters. But a lot of our meals, probably another 2,500 meals, go out like this in these pans that people can reheat. You know, so the idea is to take all this stuff that people donate, man, and you can see it's party stuff, you know, it's brisket, it's sandwiches, it's, it's a never ending supply of food that used to be thrown away, man. You know, and again, it's not food that had bites out of it or anything like that. It's perfectly good food 
that Amer you know in America we throw away almost a quarter of the food we produce every day. So we're just kind of jumping into that 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 stream, if you will, and pulling out the real good stuff. So I think we should back up a bit and say, where is this food coming from? Yeah. Okay. Um, here, I'll tell you, let's go out here and do this for sure. a second. Um, you know, again, what's interesting is um, every day in America we throw away about a quarter of the food. So what we do is we go out to restaurants, hotels, hospitals, farms, the State Department, and we pick up food that, again, is unserved. It might be, for example, an all-you-can-eat uh, lunch buffet uh, at a pizza place, and they've got 30 pizzas er uh, sitting in the back that didn't get used. They'll put them in the freezer, and then once a week we'll come and we'll pick up 50 or 60 pizzas that they produce that we can use. Now again, we use that, we match that with a salad, some milk, and a kid's got a good healthy meal that they're gonna eat. And that's a lot of what we're after. You know, we don't wanna be nutritional imperialists and try and tell people what to eat. We wanna meet people where they're at. And if I can get a kid to eat a healthy meal because of a slice of pizza, man, right on. But I'll tell you my favorite thing, follow me now. You know, we started buying a lot of produce and you know what we're interested in is this idea of really healthy food. So, for example, this is one of my favorite things. Is we started buying local produce, and then we started a volunteer program. And what happens is we get three nights a week people come in, and we process. We take all this local stuff that we buy, and then we freeze it. Um, so, whoa! whoa. Well, whoa. thank God, man, it's <laughs> it's it's frozen. It's not going to hurt anybody. Well, um, <laughs> you, you can actually take out a person with a with a club. Yeah, but it's like, you know, it's like sweet potatoes. You know, this means that year round, man, year round in the deepest day of winter, we can include locally sourced produce in every single meal we produce while supporting a local farmer, while also, again, giving people job skills, while also feeding the city a healthy, nutritious meal. So again, what we're trying to do is squeeze every ounce of impact out of what we do every day. You know, welcome to the DC Central Kitchen, man. That's what we do every day. It's, it's, a, it's a take no prisoners, no holes barred, you know, drug treatment, job placement, social enterprise, cool rockin', badass machine of love that every single day, man, makes things happen.